This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today's video I'm going to be installing a braided uh, hose kit over my uh, upper radiator hose. So let's take a look at how that's done. All right, so today we're going to take this uh, Spectre um, engine hose sleeving kit and put that on the ra upper radiator hose for the Lincoln Town Car. Um, it's real easy to mess this up as far as uh, putting the, the sleeving kit on. So uh, I was going to show you guys how it's done. And uh, just a quick note, one thing that you need is just a, a pair of scissors, good sharp scissors, some electrical tape, and just take your time with this. So I'm going to get the uh, upper radiator hose out of the packaging and uh, I'm going to get started on this. So these are always going to have a pin. I don't know if you can see it here, holding it together. So we're gonna take that pin out. And uh, there's a second pin in this. So we'll take this pin out. Okay. So at this point we can unroll this carefully and it looks actually like there's another pin which is pretty crazy actually there's a million pins in this all right so at this point the uh the pins are out and you're just going to very gently work it from the flat area and just kind of just slowly work it open just like this All right, so we're just gonna slowly just work it on, almost like a, a Chinese finger trap as we go along here. Just slowly work it and inch it along as we go. It's, it's never fun, never fun to do this. And it is, it is slowly. So it's about halfway on now. And we're just inching it along, trying not to, to damage this. Some of the nails actually that secured this kind of screwed this up, which I'm a little pissed off about, quite frankly. Um, but I'll see if I can kind of work the ugliness out of this. And we almost got it. Just keep working it on. All right, so we got this on here. So at this point, now what we're going to do is take the electrical tape and wrap that around the, uh, the edge before we trim it so it doesn't fray. And we're gonna do the same thing on this other side. So 
Let's get started. Get the tape. And just very carefully, we're going to get that right where we need to. And I like to wrap it tight with this and I like to go around at least twice. That way this does not unfray once I trim this. Okay. All right, grab my scissors. Oop. It's kind of, yeah, yeah, okay, trim that, okay, so there's one side, and uh, I'll go ahead, I'll do the other side, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so this part's actually pretty messy, so what I'm going to do is use a bag um, and then I'm just gonna go in poke in with the scissors very carefully all right so I have fought with this thing with scissors for probably at least half hour now and it cut like shit and it says in the instructions to use scissors and in the past I have used scissors with no problems cutting through the material it almost seems like this material is either stronger or thicker or something. Um, it's just really weird to me, but I still got this other side to cut. Jesus, you know, this is ridiculous. But, uh, but anyways, I'm going to just keep at it. And then uh, also I got to clean up these ends that look like shit. Um, and then uh, get this other side cut. And then this piece will be ready to install in the car. All right, so you can see I ended up using a Dremel wheel with a cutoff. It just took forever with the scissors. It was driving me nuts. So I cut that and then uh, just very carefully trimmed around the edges. So, uh, so this is good to go. One thing to just be mindful of if you have kids or pets, um, all these little metal wires, dispose of them properly. That way nobody gets it in a foot um, or, or an animal gets it in a foot. But this is all ready to go in the car, so we'll get that in the car in, a, in another installment. But uh, for now, that is done. And uh, as you can see, that is not fun at all to do. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.